Pelegi Technical Services, your computers and electronics concierge service. Welcome back. Today we're taking a look at something I got in the mail. Uh, I was playing around on eBay the other day and I came across this item here. Now, it doesn't look like a whole lot of much because it's not put together yet. This is an acrylic box for the Arduino Uno Revision 3, which you can see I have Chooch in here in the background with the uh, Radio Shack 3x3 LED cube shield sitting on top of it. And yeah, so this video is going to be more or less just us putting this together. Um, I haven't done any of these yet. This is my first time, so it's uh, going to be pretty interesting. So I do have to get myself a knife or a pair of scissors here. Get this package opened. And we'll see what we have inside here. Now this is obviously made in China, but it's going to be assembled here in the States. Let's see, they gave us some, some instructions here. I, I just saw a picture of the final product online when I bought this. I didn't really put too much thought into it. It was only a couple bucks, I think like four, five bucks tops with shipping. And um, yeah, it looks like it's pretty easy. Just kind of slap it together. Like I said, shall not fix the crews instead of screws. With excessive strength, you avoid damages. Hmm. Um, obviously, they're using metric screws. This should be fairly easy just to slap together. Now, it doesn't mention if the Arduino actually has to be in the device or not. So, we're going to have to take a look at that. As we can see here, these are all the different plates. They do have the coating on it, which is just this piece of paper that gets peeled off. And let me go ahead and unplug this Arduino here. Now, this is just receiving power via USB off of one of my power supplies over here. I'm just going to unseparate these two pieces by pulling them apart. Now, this is something I put together a while back. Unfortunately, I didn't have the camera and I didn't have any way of recording footage when I did it. I did take some pictures though. Um, Radio Shack not being um, the place it used to be anymore. I don't, I'm not sure if you'll be able to find these anymore, but I'll put up information in the description about it. And of course, here's the basic Arduino Revision 3 on the Uno. And you can kind of see how these pieces are going to fit. You know, it's going to go kind of like that. Only certain pieces will be exposed. We have the sides, the fronts, the back, the bottom, top, and all the screws. And some kind of spacers it looks like in there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to empty this out and kind of lay it out logically and we'll come back and take a look at it. Alright, just went ahead and kind of eyeballed this up really quickly. You can kind of get an idea how this is going to go. There are four holes on the inside here that this Arduino board is going to actually screw into, which I like. They did give me little plastic spacers right here. The shorter screws and the nuts will obviously hold that down. Um, the front plate goes on like that. You can kind of see how that's going to sit. And it's pretty simple. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, one of the things I do have to do is peel off all that paper first. And I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to select the proper size on my screwdriver here, my Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to see if I also have a small, uh, maybe not, maybe, <laughs> I'm not sure. I might have a small wrencher, a small uh, pair of pliers to hold that. That's a tiny nut. Mind the uh, orientation here with my hand. I'm trying to do this on a viewfinder that's actually upside down out the corner of my eye here. If I flip it any more to make the image go the right way up, it gets out of my field of view. And I don't have another TV to plug into. Ooh, so it's kind of weird. Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and take off all the stuff here and get this going. I went ahead and go mounted the board to the bottom here. You can see the four nuts with the spacers underneath them here possibly now, this was a little tricky because you had to put this front piece, uh, front piece in first so it sits underneath this USB jack here and um, 
you can't tighten these too much because you'll crack this acrylic pretty easily. I've learned from experience it does do that. Um, all I have to do now is put the sides, the back on, put the top on, and then screw it in. That's pretty much all there is to it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And here's the final product. The laser cutting on this was actually very nicely done. The screws were just the right length. You could see the smaller screws protrude just a tiny little bit past the nut, whereas the corner screws holding the case together are perfect. I do have some small rubber feet left over from uh, you know several projects I've built. I actually get them in sheets. So I'm going to stick the four rubber feet in the corner of this just to give this a uh, little bit of a non-slip surface. Uh, I just had this sitting on the desktop as it was and um, you know it slid all over the place because of the little metal contacts here. So with the rubber feet it'll keep it nice and steady. I do like how they have the USB port kind of just jutting out the top here as does the DC jack and this is um, smooth. Now you do see that they have a cutout here for the uh, uh, reset switch however when you have a shield installed the reset switch hole becomes obscured by it and you can't push it and there's no way to get to it from the side either so if you're just putting this um, on your desk like I am with the shield over here just stuck inside of it then you'll be fine but if it's something where you're going to have to um, re hit the reset button for a, you know any purpose it may not work well you just have to unplug it um, unless of course you're just you know using this with you know uh, little jumpers coming out of the headers over here and you're using it as you know you typically would for an Arduino as prototyping and stuff like that then it wouldn't really matter because you can still get to it uh, either way this is nice because it keeps this protected uh, not really much can happen to it I think of but you could still mess with it you know really you only need access to the pins and the reset button and the ports anyway so why not cover the rest of it up but it does look pretty nice I was thinking of putting a small strip of LED tape right here in the middle somehow and powering it off of something or just having it be accessible with the pins and that way when you have it sitting down here it'll kind of emit light from around it haven't really put any more thought into it than that though um, you can see here how this shield will just plug right in and they have the depth set right where it'll sit perfectly flush on top of it and the pins are engaged all the way well can't really make that out too well in the camera but you get the idea it sits in there nice and like I said now you can't get to the reset button it isn't necessarily a deal breaker like I said depends on what your usage will be this is just going to sit on my bench over here or on my desk behind me with just this uh, plugged in. That's it. That's how I plan on having it, just like that. So with that, I'd like to thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. I'm going to try to start uploading them more frequently. I do have a lot of smaller projects which should be shot and edited, you know, typically within a day. My only drawback with the whole YouTube thing is just the upload time. I try to do this in a high enough of a definition video to make it worthwhile. Unfortunately, it you know slows down my upload time. So it's kind of one of those things where I have to shoot the video, edit it, and then upload it overnight, and then do the final editing on the YouTube editor if there is any. You know, do whatever description changes I have to do, and then I, once that happens, I make the video actually public. And uh, of course, that always takes time once that happens. So. Unfortunately, I can't always get everything done the same day, but I am trying to get more videos up weekly. Thanks for watching.